So in today's video, I am going to be working on Aurora's dress, but I'm also going to be doing a Q&A. Um, yeah, just for something a little bit different. I asked on my Instagram stories if you had any questions for me, which you guys did. Um, and I'll also be answering questions from the costume tag, costume questions tag. So basically that's a list of questions that I put together and posted it to the Facebook, the costume Facebook group and it's free to edit, free for people to use um, yeah and it's just a nice way for our audiences to get to know us if we choose to partake in the costume questions tag. Um, so first things first I guess I'll just show you what I've got on my table here. So obviously I've got Aurora's dress here this is the Midnight Masquerade version of Aurora that I've been making over the past couple of months. Um, if you want to see how I made the corset, the dress and this thing, I will link all of those videos um, in the playlist. I'll link the playlist in the description below. Um, yeah, so make sure to check out that if you're interested. And basically what I am working on today is sewing down all of this gold leaf trim. As for the gold leaf trim, um, I'll show you guys on camera. So this gold leaf trim, there is 10 meters of it. I will use up all of it, I'm sure. And it's from either AliExpress or eBay. I think it's from eBay actually. And yeah, that's, that's about it for that. As for the thread I am using, it's just plain old polyester thread. I do have a metallic gold embroidered, a uh, metallic, yeah, a metallic thread, except it's just very difficult to sew with, so I'm not going to sew with it today. And you would have seen in the beginning of this video that I have already threaded my needle, um, and I just single threaded the needle, and I've got a knot at one end of the thread, and then the other thread sorry the other end of the thread is just left loose so I'll be sewing with a single thread um, and I think that's it yeah I've already pinned down all of the gold leaf detailing so now it's just a matter of sewing it down um, just before we get into the questions I will show you how I start off sewing this trim so I'm just going to go to the underside of the fabric poke my needle through Pull that through and basically I just do very tiny back stitches in and out all along the vine of the leaf trim so I'm not sure how much you're able to see on camera hopefully you can see let me just check <laughs> yeah I think you can see okay um, Yep, so I'm just doing tiny back stitches coming back up through the vine. I'm calling it the vine. It's the this this part of the leaf trim. So I'm not actually sewing down any of the leaves. Um, so once I've come back up, I just back stitch just a few millimeters and come back up. So that's how I'm sewing down the leaf trim and I take out pins as I go so yeah there's nothing else to it that's all so let's get into the questions from Instagram first um, I've got the questions up on my laptop here cool so the first question is from Kira Lee cosplay and she asks what's your favorite fabric to work with so my favorite fabric is to work with is cotton. Um, it's non-stretch. You can iron it. You can wash it. It's pretty durable. Um, it's just a very good fabric to work with in general. 
Um, oh no, I've got a knot in my thread. Oh, uh, I hate that when it happens. Yep, I have a knot in my thread. Okay. Um, sorry, back to the questions. Yeah, so cotton is my favourite fabric to work with, um, but as you guys know, I tend to make costumes out of very difficult fabrics like chiffon. Um, I've used a lot of chiffon for this uh, Aurora dress in particular. Um, organza, which is what I had to deal with when making jasmine. Um, like, don't get me wrong, I really love those fabrics. They're just not easy to work with whatsoever. So yeah, um, next question comes from Vanis Corner and she asks, when did you start sewing? So I guess I started sewing, if I'm going back to when I first ever touched a sewing machine, it would have been when I was 14 and that was because I had a dress for my middle school formal or graduation, whatever you call them. And um, the dress was too big for me and I needed to alter it and sew a seam down the back to make it smaller. So that is when I started sewing, like that's when I first ever picked up a sewing machine. As for sewing costumes, I didn't start sewing costumes until basically the end of 2018, beginning of 2019. Um, yeah, and I did take a break from sewing for about four years while I was at uni because I didn't have access to a sewing machine, so yeah. Next question comes from Aya Kahala123 and she asks, what will your next project be? So I already have three projects in mind for 2020. Well, I was going to say 2019, but it's not 2019. Uh, for 2020. So two of them you guys already know about. Um, it, one of them is this Aurora dress that I'm making now, the Midnight Masquerade version. The second one was actually a little bit uh, like it was an impromptu type of costume. Like I wasn't planning on making it at all, but then my my friends are all like they all have um, like the designer doll village versions of the other princesses and I wanted to join in so that's when I decided oh okay I'm going to make the peasant version of Aurora so the Bri Briar Rose is her name um, yeah so the designer doll collection version of that um, those videos will be coming out after the after all of these Aurora videos are finished. Um, but yeah, if you want to see any of the progress or finished photos of that, that's on my Instagram already. So make sure to follow me there. Um, as for my third costume, I still want to keep that secret. <laughs> um, just because I'm not actually sure at this stage if I am going to actually make it. Um, I do have, well I'll give you the hint, I'll give you a hint. It's It's got a lot of flowers so I did purchase a lot of flowers from eBay and I'm still waiting for most of the flowers to arrive. Some of them have. Um, yep, yeah, so it's something that involves flowers but I'm not going to give anywhere anything else away. Um, just because I'm not sure if I'm actually going to make it. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, and then that's about it for like projects this year. I don't want to have too much lined up um, because, you know, life gets in the way. Um, costuming can be expensive. So, you know, if if fabric pops up that's on sale, um, like a lot of this fabric for Aurora was on sale. So yeah, when fabric's on sale and I have a project in mind, I'm like, okay, cool, I'm gonna do it. Um, for the 
Briar Rose project, a lot of those fabrics were given to me or I already had. So yeah, that one, that one was good to go ahead. Um, next question. Oh, it's from the same person and she says, can you please make, can you please me, I think she means make, can you please make a Black Widow costume or whatever it's properly called? I'm not sure what you mean by that one. Um, if you mean like make a, like a bodysuit um, for a superhero, I am probably not going to be doing anything of that sort anytime soon. Uh, that's not really my style. Uh, next question is from SLG Club and they ask, what are your must-have travel items? I feel like this is a very, you know, strange question. <laughs> I guess maybe they, they're asking me because they've seen me travel quite a bit on my Instagram. So I do travel a lot for work um, and I, I traveled back home for the Christmas break. Um, and I guess for those sorts of things where I'm going to be someplace for a good amount of time, I will take some sewing supplies. I always take, well, not always, always, but like when I know I'm going to be doing sewing, I'll take a big pair of scissors, my little pair of scissors, my pin cushion with all of my pins and um, needles as well. They're just in there. Um, my tripod to film. My phone is what I film on. Uh, my laptop to edit. My fabric or whatever project I'm working on. Um, yeah. As for like other travel items, there's, you know, you take things like a toothbrush, toothpaste, hairbrush, those sorts of things. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not really sure like what you were expecting me to say. Okay, next question is from Lumina Puppy Princess and she asks, what favorite costume you have ever made? So my favorite costume it's got to be Jasmine. I mean, I spent so many months working on her, so yeah, Jasmine. And it's my most elaborate costume, I would say. Next question is from Nicole.h.c. She asks, what are your online shops to buy fabric and sewing supplies? Uh, I don't tend to buy fabric online. I have bought fabric online before, just off eBay. Um, that was the fabric for my Gwen dress, um, Guinevere from Merlin. So I just bought all of that from eBay. But I don't think I've ever bought any other fabric from online. Everything else I've bought like in person or it was given to me or I've like looked through friends' fabric stashes to find fabric. Um, and then as for sewing supplies, I, I don't know because a lot of the sewing supplies I have were actually given to me. Um, oh, I guess. Like these scissors, these scissors were my auntie's, um, but they're not, I don't really use them for fabric because they're very old. Um, these scissors I bought myself. This pin cushion I made myself. Um, yeah, I, I don't know about sewing supplies. I'd say it's like a mixture of I buy things when I need them, which is very rarely. Um, and then a lot of my sewing supply, supplies have been given to me. Um, I actually have quite a few sewing supplies from Bella May. Um, from the Costube Secret Santa, so thank you Bella May. Um, yeah, and I just use what I've got, I don't have much. And that's it for the Instagram questions, so I'll get into the Costube, the Costube questions now. Sorry, just opening them up on my laptop. 
Yeah, so the cost tuber questions tag is what I've called it. So there are a lot of questions in this in this tag. Um, we'll see how I go. I mean, I've got plenty of time and I'm just sewing on trim, so yeah. As for what I've done so far, I've just sewn this section. <laughs> ah, I'll get there. Okay, first question. What's your channel name and what's the story behind it? So my channel name is my name. <laughs> um, I did have many other channel names before. Um, if you scroll back far enough on my channel, you'll see that I did a lot of Photoshop videos and my name was the Photoshop Fairy, things like that. Um, but then I decided I don't wanna just do Photoshop yeah, no Photoshop anymore. And yeah, from there I was like, oh, okay, what am I going to name my channel? Like, I still want it, I still want it to, like I wanted just a channel name that I could do whatever I wanted to do on my channel. Um, and so I just went with my name because then it's whatever I want, right? <laughs> when and why did you start costuming? So I started making costumes at the end of 2018, beginning of 2019, and there's actually a bit of a story behind this. So before then, like, you know, I, I could sew thing, like just sew regular clothes using commercial patterns and things like that, but I had never like really gone into costuming. Um, I actually didn't know that conventions were a thing until my sister told me about a comic convention and she really wanted to dress up as Wonder Woman and after the Wonder Woman film the first one went after that first movie came out I was I was um, in love with her gold her gold costume that she wears in um, the mascara and basically my sister was like okay well if you if you make that costume and she made the the red and blue costume then we would go to a convention together like our very first convention ever together um, in November of 2018 and um, I actually thought she was joking I didn't think she would actually make her costume but she did and so then I was like oh okay well I better start making my costume so that's what I did um, for I worked on it for many months throughout 2018 it was just you know something to something to do and um, yeah we went to the convention together and it was actually there that I saw that people people had amazing costumes and I've always really been interested in um, like princess dresses and, and that sort of thing um, and I was like oh wow I can actually like make costumes and actually wear them somewhere because before then I was like well, what's the point in making a costume if you've got nowhere to wear it to? Um, yeah, so ever since then, I've yeah just been obsessed with making costumes because I love them so much. Um, oh, when and why did I start costuming? I think the why comes from um, like all throughout high school and also uni. I was... Uh, very into TV shows like Once Upon a Time and I I was obsessed with the costumes from that show. Um, I also really liked Cinderella, um, what are some other shows? Merlin, basically anything like fantasy, yeah, fantasy, medieval, Disney, like anything from, from those genres I really really liked the costumes and I was so happy that you know I could make the costumes and actually wear them to things so that's why um, how did I get into making YouTube videos so I've always watched YouTube never always made videos I started by making Photoshop videos and they were like costume concept art design things um, yeah, that was fun for a while, um, especially when I didn't, that was at the time when I didn't do any sewing because I didn't have a sewing machine, um, didn't have money. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
so that's that's YouTube. Um, I did that for a while and I don't know, I thought it was fun to like, you know, record the process of making a, a, a Photoshop manipulation and yeah, people seem to really like it. I liked it. Uh, what's your usual genre of costumes? So I guess, I guess I'm like a big fantasy costume lover. So I guess that's the main genre of my costumes. Um, I really do want to get more into historical costuming. Um, but I think for now I'm, I'm really happy just making fantasy costumes that are not perfect. <laughs> How many costumes have you made? Okay, this one. So I've made... Does that include, does that include the one that I'm making now? I guess this is almost done, so I'll, I'll include it. So I've made Aurora, Briar Rose, Jasmine, Gwen, Wonder Woman, the blue dress of Wonder Woman. Uh, I made a costume for my brother, which was Doctor Strange. Oh, and I also made a costume way back in high school. Um, that was actually the very first costume I made, and that was a Thumbelina costume. Yeah, I think that's it. How many that is, I can't remember. <laughs> whatever number, whatever, if you count what I just said, that's the number of how many costumes I've made. Um, what was your first costume? So, yeah, I made a Thumbelina costume back in high school. Um, that was the very first costume I made. I'll insert a picture somewhere on the screen now. Um, so that was for a school project and I made that costume. It was in a school exhibition at the end of the year. And then I left to go to uni. Like I left that city. Um, and then I never saw that costume again. I don't know where it is and I highly doubt my parents went to the school to, to get it after that exhibition. So, yeah. Which costume is your favorite or biggest accomplishment? Definitely Jasmine. Um, you can find all of the videos on the making of Jasmine up on my channel. So that's the live action version of Princess Jasmine from Aladdin. Which of your costumes do you like the least? Um, Oh, I just remembered, I have actually made two other costumes. Um, they are Regency dresses. One of them is like a Regency day dress, and then the other is a Regency ball dress. Um, I would say I, I like my Regency ball dress the least. Um, I made it, I made it for a specific like dance that I was going to. Um, and I made it a bit in a rush and, you know, it was before I actually properly got into costuming and sewing in general, so it's not very well made. <laughs> but I still have it and I have worn it multiple times. It serves its purpose. So, yeah, that's that. Sorry, I'm just trying to find where my needle... comes out. No, there it is. Okay. Where is your favorite local place to go shopping for fabric and or other costuming materials? Local place? Um, currently I'm in Western Australia and they have a store called Homecraft Textiles. It's really good. I really like it. Otherwise, Spotlight? or Lincraft when I'm on the East Coast. What is your favorite online store for purchasing fabric and or other costuming materials? So like I said, I don't really buy fabric online. Um, maybe I will sometime in the future, but for now I haven't really bought fabric online. But for costuming materials, like for example, this, this gold leaf trim, 
I buy a lot of the details um, and embellishments for things from AliExpress or eBay and I found that those are really good and much cheaper than if you were to buy it at Spotlight. Commercial patterns, self-drafted patterns or winging it? I remember when I wrote this question I was like I am a winger, like I wing everything. Um, I do work off commercial patterns sometimes but most of the times I just use it as like a base and then I build off it and do my own thing so yeah I'd say like a mixture of all three um, I wouldn't say that I draft my own patterns like the proper way I just you know drape over myself because I don't have a dress form and whatever works becomes my pattern so yeah a mix of commercial patterns self-drafted patterns self-drafted patterns and winging it what is your favorite or most used pattern um, my most used pattern is a simplicity princess seam dress um, I've made I would say at least five versions of this dress um, for my mum, mostly for my mum. I think I've made like one for myself and one for my sister. So, yeah. Um, so that's my most used. My favourite pattern, I would say, is um, it's a it's like a wedding dress pattern, but I just really like the design of it because it's got a deep V in the back and I think it's really pretty. So that's my favourite pattern, I would say. Hand sewing machine or both, or glue. Um, I do. I do mostly machine sewing. Hand sewing for things that are difficult to do, like this. <laughs> and glue. I used glue for jasmine because there was a lot of like metal things that you can't sew through, um, and that's really the only costume I used glue for yeah so I'd say like all three depending on what materials I'm working with historical accuracy or historically inspired this did I say that right historically inspired or neither um, I would say I would say that mine are like my costumes are neither like I'd say there are, I am inspired by some historical techniques, but I wouldn't say it's enough to say historically inspired. I'd say neither, I would just say like fantasy. <laughs> Do you use thrifted or vintage fabrics? What are you always on the lookout for when you go thrifting or op shopping if you live in Australia? Um, yes, I do use, I don't use vintage fabrics, but I do like to use secondhand fabrics as in like bed sheets and things like that. Um, and what do I go looking for? I look for fabrics like cotton and linen that I know would be expensive if I were to buy it from an actual fabric store. Um, and then I also really like to look at patterns when I go op shopping um, because they're like $2, $3 patterns and also any lace because lace at an actual fabric store is expensive so yeah. What are your favourite fabrics to work with and why? I already answered that at the beginning of this video. Have you revamped any old costumes? If so, what did you do to them to give them new life? I don't think I've actually revamped any old costumes. No, I think once I make it, I leave it. <laughs> move it on, move on. Yeah, I don't think I have. How has costuming affected your everyday life, i.e. history bounding? Um, so if you don't know, a lot of the people in the costuming community here on YouTube like to do what's called history bounding. So they'll make clothes inspired by history um, using proper 
you know, historical techniques that um, increase the longevity of the clothes, make it more durable, um, also nicely finish off the clothing, that sort of thing. And because they put so much effort and love into their work, um, you know, it's like, why not wear it on a daily basis? So that is what history bounding is, if you didn't know. I don't partake in history bounding myself. I would like to. It's just that my everyday life involves wearing, like, business attire, so. Uh, what part of making a costume do you dread the most? Huh. Um, I dread a lot of parts of making a costume. Um, it actually just depends on how I'm feeling. I think the worst part is cutting out the fabric. Yeah, especially when you've got lots of fabric to work with. Um, especially if you don't have the floor space as well, because I've lived in places where I don't have the floor space. I'm so glad that the next place that I'm moving into, I, I just got approved for it, um, has a sunroom. So I will have a room with lots of light and that will be my, that will be where my sewing machine lives. And then there is also plenty of floor space in the living room. So I'm really excited to move into that new place. What's your favorite part about creating a costume? I would say my favorite part is doing the embellishment like the final embellishments, like what I'm doing now, um, because I'm so close to finishing the costume and I can see it all come together and I know that it's like, you know, an extra one or two days of work and I'm finally able to try the costume on for the first time. Um, yeah, so that's what I would say is my favourite part. And then also, of course, wearing a costume. That is, that's, yeah, number one <laughs> about creating a costume. That is my absolute most favorite part wearing the costume and going to see all of my costuming friends at cons yeah i live for that <laughs> what is your favorite entertainment while you are working on something <laughs> so my favorite entertainment i like to watch youtube i'd say that's number one maybe i'll watch a movie but i generally find myself getting bored or like turning off the movie and then turning it back on and then I forgot what I just watched and all of that. I don't really watch TV shows anymore. There's not much that interests me. Um, yeah, I would say YouTube and movies. And then also sometimes when I just want to concentrate on what I'm sewing and I don't want to look at something else, I will listen to soundtrack music. And the one that I've been listening to recently is the soundtrack from Maleficent 2. I, the, my, favorite, my favorite piece of music from that soundtrack would be, I think it's like Time to Come Home or something. It's the, it's the music that plays as Aurora walks down the aisle. Yeah. How many hours per week do you work on making things? Um, this one depends. It depends how busy I am at work. Um, if I'm just having a busy week at work or I just can't be bothered sewing when I come home from work, I generally don't do any sewing throughout the week, um, Monday to Friday. Most, most of the time I work on my costumes on the weekends, so, you know, like a Saturday or a Sunday. Um, but even then, sometimes I find that I just can't be bothered, so it's really whenever I feel like it. Um, but how many hours? I'm going to go with like, if it's a good week, I would say I would be working on a costume half an hour to an hour a day. Yeah. So I'd say like seven, seven, eight hours all up for a week. But then if I'm like working on the weekends and I've just... I'm really in the zone and I'm just getting things done. I might spend a whole day or a whole day and a half um, on the weekend working on something. How long does it usually take you to complete a costume? So for me, it takes me at least a couple months, I would say, to finish at least the, the more recent costumes. I have made costumes in like a couple of days, um, like the one that I made for my brother. Um, 
the blue dress that I made for Wonder Woman came together pretty quickly, but that's because I was in a rush. But everything else I try and plan way ahead so I have plenty of time to work on it and I'm not stressed out about trying to get it done on time. Um, so like for the dress I'm currently working on at the moment, um, I will be wearing this in about two weeks time. So yeah, hopefully that gives you an indication. Like usually I plan to finish the costume a week or two weeks ahead of when I need to actually have it finished by. Um, because I like to do um, costume tests with like hair and makeup as well. So, and just wear it because that's fun. <laughs> Where is your favorite place to take photos in your costume? Um, I would say Toowoomba um, when we have those cosplay meet meetups. I really like the Toowoomba Queens, is it Queens Gardens? I don't know, I'm not from Toowoomba, but that place is really nice. And I really like it when it's um, springtime and they've got all the flowers out. So I'd say that's my favorite place to take costumes, uh, costume photos. Otherwise, oh, well, I'm yet to take photos um, in Perth. So I'm going to be doing that with Kira Lee soon, but maybe that will become my, my new favorite place. I don't know. Um, Perth is a really nice city. So yeah. Um, summer or winter costumes? I would say, I would, I, I would say like in between, like costumes that you know obviously not winter costumes like you couldn't wear them in the snow but they're costumes that you could wear comfortably when it's a bit colder out so Australian winters the sun is still out so costumes that you could wear in an Australian winter is what I would say um, what are your favorite colors to work with hmm this is a difficult one I think because I work with I work with a lot of colors. I think yeah, like blues, purples, pinks, reds, maroons, um, gold. I haven't done anything really like silver yet. Um, yeah, like. Quite a few colors i don't think i would really do anything like in the yellow orange color category i think just colors that you don't really see in you know everyday life usually people are wearing like black white gray like i don't really like to work with those sorts of colors yeah a lot of like other colors yeah, pink, purple, blue, gold, all of those I like. What are you currently working on? Well, I think you guys already know that. <laughs> I am working on Midnight Masquerade Aurora and also Briar Rose, except Briar Rose is already done. Um, the only thing that I need to do is make a little bag for, well, actually, I'm just going to make a single bag and I'll be able to wear it with both Midnight Masquerade Aurora and Briar Rose. So that's the plan for that. Um, what's your next project? Ah, this is the secret one. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you just yet. What's your ultimate dream costume? Cinderella from the 2015 movie. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever make that dress, but I would love to have it. <laughs> do you have any other hobbies? Are they more significant than costuming? So yes, I do have other hobbies. I would say they're not more significant than costuming. I think costuming is at the moment. Um, oh no, I just realized that I've sewn through 
Oh no, I haven't. There we go. Sorry, I thought that I had just sewn through um, to the other side of the dress, which I don't want to do. But it was just pinned, so I'll just fix up that pin so it's only through the top layer. Okay. Ah, oh, Photoshop. Although that's like an old hobby now, but if I had Photoshop still and I had a better laptop than this, this laptop, um, because I've had this laptop for about eight years now, so it's very old. Um, can't handle Photoshop. <laughs> um, yeah, but if I did have Photoshop, that would that would be up on my hobbies list as well. Um, what's your favorite thing about costume? I really like the fact that we can all learn from each other. So, you know, I do my own thing and work on, on my, my projects, but I really like that I'm able to see what other people are doing. And even though it's something that I may not necessarily do any time soon, it's really interesting to see what other people are up to and, you know, perhaps even take away some of the, like, some of the techniques that they're using. And then obviously um, just the community aspect and feeling like you are you are part of a community and you're all you're all able to help each other out. Um, yeah, it's just it's just a really nice community in general. Which three costumers will you tag? Try to tag someone you know personally, someone from a different country, and someone new to costume. Okay. Someone I know personally, Kiralee, I tag you. <laughs> um, someone from a different country. Oh, I know that Noelle wants to do this. So Noelle, you're tagged. Um, so Kiralee is Kiralee Cosplay. Noelle is Costuming Drama here on YouTube. And then someone new to costume. Pippa, I tag you. I wonder if you actually got to the end of this video. Let me know if you did get to the end because this is super long and I just... It's actually really weird talking almost to yourself. Um, and all I've sewn is... down... like one, one stem of this... of this... <laughs> At least I got one stem done. Anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, what else do I need to say? Uh, you can follow me on Instagram. I'll link that in the description below if you want to see photos, videos, progress, my stories. I usually post on my stories, progress of my costumes. Um, I think that's it. I will catch you in the next video. Um, yeah, happy sewing. Bye.